Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at some absolutely awesome improvements that have just been added to RPCS3. So in a few videos of mine, probably about a month and a half ago, we took a look at Metal Gear Solid 4 and saw that for the very first time it was booting to its menus. However, unfortunately in that much older build, the game would just crash as soon as anything was rendered on screen. As of right now, things have drastically changed and not only is Metal Gear Solid 4 able to load into its menus, render graphics in those menus, but as you're seeing in gameplay footage right now, for the very first time in RPCS3 history, Metal Gear Solid 4 is now able to progress into gameplay and at least somewhat correctly render its graphics. To be honest, it actually looks a lot better than I expected it to when it booted in-game first, and in respect to performance, it actually runs quite well. Now you also do need to remember that I am running this on an 8700K clocked at 4.7GHz with 32GB of RAM and a GTX 1080 Ti, so performance is going to be heavily dependent on the power of my CPU. Regardless, now that it is actually going in-game and showing graphics just like this, I can imagine that the RPCS3 devs are now going to be actually able to properly debug this, just like they have with many, many other games that looked like this the very first time they went in-game. For example, the Uncharted series looked, I would say, kind of similar to this. It had some serious layering bugs, just like you can see in-game, where certain textures would overlap the others, and when we take a look at the graphical fidelity of Uncharted now, it looks very, very good on this emulator. So this video is just going to be a quick preview of Metal Gear 4 running at 4K resolution on RPCS3. So for the remainder of this video, I'm going to shut up and let you check out some preview footage of this game running on the emulator. As always, remember to support your emulator developers. Down in this video's description, you will find a link to the RPCS3 Patreon, so please consider heading over there and dropping a pledge or a donation. Once again guys, thank you very much for checking out this video, have a great day and I will see you in the next one. There's a snake. Do you read me? What's the situation? I'm just inside the city limits. This place is crawling with lizards. Ah, AT Corps' unmanned bipedal weapons. Officially designated Irving by the US military. They've spread like wildfire among the PMCs. There are more of those things now in service than tanks. They've got tough armor plating and are highly agile to boot. Your best bet is to stay out of their sights. Unmanned. Pretty soon they'll have put living, breathing soldiers out of work. Even so, that's an awful lot of gecko for this scenario. Their numbers exceed the war price for that region. It must have something to do with Liquid's arrival on the scene. You really think he's here? You'll have to find the army's operatives and ask them yourself. Oh, and Snake, I went ahead and used the Mark II to scout out the area before your arrival. You'll find it up ahead. Mark II? It's a remote mobile terminal. Sonny and I built it. The Mark II will provide you with a map of the area as well as any battle situation data. You should find it before you do anything else. Okay, got it. The rendezvous point is marked on your map. I'll be waiting for you there.
backup guns dropped by both the militia and the PMCs. Remember, though, PMC weapons are locked. You can't use them. If only there was some way to get rid of the locks. Snake, it's me. Huh? Otacon. Sorry to keep you waiting, Snake. Allow me to introduce Metal Gear Mark II. Metal Gear? That's right. Just like Rex. But this gear's not a weapon. It's a remote mobile terminal designed to provide you with operational support. Where are you? I'm in the Nomad. Where else? I'll be watching you through the Mark II. Mm, wish I was good with gadgets. Hey, I'll be with you in spirit. Anyway, because you had to dress up as a militiaman, I had the Mark II bring you some goodies. Starting with this. Put it on your left eye. Looks like an eye patch. I call it the Solid Eye. It's an all-purpose goggle that displays radar images and other data in 3D. You can also switch it over to light amplifying night vision. The rebels are out there. It looks like they've got the government's PMC troops beat, at least in numbers. And this is their own turf. Snake. I know this is a sneaking mission, but you'll need to protect yourself. Uh. Uh. An operator. I installed a suppressor. And here's a tranquilizer gun. Uh, how thoughtful. It predates the implementation of the system. By some miracle, it was never recycled. It's getting tough these days, finding decent guns that aren't controlled. Are you coming? Of course. I'll follow you wherever you go, like this. I'll activate stealth so it doesn't attract any attention. If you need it, just bring up the start button menu. Got it. Snake, 
The informants who said they saw a liquid here should be a little further up. Head for the rendezvous point. I've placed a mark on the radar in the upper right corner of the solid eye. It's a war zone out there. Stay on your toes. 